Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and to one of my most exciting videos that I will be uploading for the new year and that will be my 2024 reading journal setup. So fun fact, the first video I ever uploaded to YouTube last year was my 2023 reading journal setup and all of you really loved that video so I wanted to show you what I'm changing up this year and what I'm keeping the same as my last journal. So this was my last journal, which is also an Archer and Olive 8x8 square journal. I love these journals. They are the best. And last year I stuck to a really simple theme and I loved it, but I felt like doing something a little different. So I'm going to be doing a scrapbooky, vintage-y, and nature-filled theme this year. At least for my intro pages, we'll see where the year takes me. But I bought a bunch of different scrapbooking type kits on Amazon as well as just trying to use up the things that I have or pictures that I love from Pinterest or the internet and we'll see where this goes. So this year my journal is a more neutral theme that has gold accents to it so I also kind of stuck with that and tried incorporating that vibe as well. This first page that I have here is my intro page, which I kept simple. It just says 2024 reading journal. It's cute. I love it. Moving on, the next page is that like weird page that kind of sticks to each other, which is like the first page of every journal. So I decided to keep it as like a neutral quote page. You'll also see that the lighting is going to change up and my outfits are going to change in this video. This video took a long time to film as well as the setup in general. I had over eight hours of footage and this was recorded over a week's worth of time. So sorry for that ahead of time, but it is what it is. I wanted to get this done for you all and it took a long, long time. So the quote I have on this page, I think is a C.S. Lewis quote, and it is, you can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me, which is accurate. Moving on, the next page in my journal is going to be my index spread, which I did have in my last year journal, and I did not use it to the capability that an index is used. And so I just kept it to one page this year. I still wanted to keep it because I did find it useful whenever I needed to find a specific spread and I didn't want to just flip through my journal. But I don't think I need as many pages as I did last year. I'll also link anything that I can find online um, for the supplies as well as the different fun things that I used for this setup. I'll try my best to find everything, but some things are just older or no longer sold. So if you are curious about anything, it will be linked in the description below. This next page is my reading spread, which I did not have last year, but I thought it would be fun to incorporate it. So I first have a box that basically describes what the vibe is for my rating if I give a book one to five star rating and I also wanted to start using the copile rating method this year to better enhance my rating system and this is a rating system that was created by a fellow youtuber so I will link the details down below it basically stands for characters atmosphere writing plot intrigue logic and enjoyment and based on your rating for all of those things, you end up with a specific star rating. This next spread is my 2024 goals spread, which I have a whole dedicated video talking about these. So we'll also link that in the cards. But I loved having a 2023 reading goal spread in my journal last year. It was just great to continuously look back on as well as reevaluate 
what I'm doing with my reading and switching things up if I needed to focus on any specific goals. So the goals that I have this year are Polish, translated, nonfiction, finished series, big books, and physical TBR. I think I have some other goals as well this year, but nothing that is very tangible or that I wanted to keep track of physically in a book. And you'll also see here that I used a lot of circles instead of squares this year. I just wanted to switch it up and for now I'm liking it. We'll see how it goes for the rest of the year, but it's a fun, different look. This next spread I have here is my reading tracker spread. So this I had in my last journal and I loved filling it out throughout the year, basically keeping track numerically of all the books that I'm reading. And I have it color coordinated that I fill in each circle based on the format that I read the book in, whether it is print, audiobook, or ebook. And my goal for this year is 100 books, but I do have more than 100 circles on the spread because I have read more than 100 books for the past couple of years. Sorry for my head popping in every once in a while. It is a difficult angle to film from, that's for sure. <laughs> This next spread I have here is my bookshelfy spread, which was so fun to look back on last year. It's basically going to reflect all of the books that I read in 2024 if I had them all filled out and displayed on a bookshelf. I'm going to keep the same theme as last year where I actually try to match the books in my journal to the covers of the books that I read. So it's going to be nice and colorful by the end of the year. So much fun to look back on and a little bit tedious to set up. But once you have it set up, it's actually just a lot of fun because you just start coloring once you're done reading your books. This next spread is my book log spread, which will span over four pages in my reading journal. And here I will fill out all of the books that I read and some details such as the title of the book, the author, the genre, what dates I read the book, my rating for the book, and then the format that I read the book in. This is also a spread that I really liked looking back on. And even though some of these spreads are tedious because I'm filling in the same information, it is reflected in different formats that, I don't know, it just warms my analytic heart <laughs> when it comes to reading statistics. This next spread here is my yearly stats spread, which this is different. I never had this last year and I saw a couple different people have this in their reading journal and I thought it would be so much fun to have and useful to have when looking back on my year of reading. So there's just a couple different things that I wanted to track for this next year um, based on the month such as the number of books that I read, the number of pages that I read, how many books were in audio format, print format, or ebook format, how many books I DNF'd each month, my average rating for each month, and the number of books that I bought. I'm a little nervous about that number, but <laughs> it is something that I want to track.
This next page I have is also new and it is my year in pixels when it comes to how many pages I read daily. So I created a key based on the number of pages that I read daily and then each day will have that corresponding number and I thought it would be fun to kind of see when I read a lot, which months I read more, maybe which days I read more, um, or see if I'm visibly able to see when I'm in a reading slump versus when I'm not. I already track basically how many pages I read a day in my monthly spread, so I thought this would be fun to do at the end of the year or fill in during the year since I already have those statistics, but I'm excited to see how this turns out. This next page is my monthly ratings page. So this I actually changed from last year's spread. Last year I just did full stars, so just one through five. And I found it really hard because I give a lot of books 0.5. And so this year I decided to also add the 0.5 rating. And this is just going to show you how many books I gave each corresponding star every month. You'll also see that I do a lot of mistakes when it comes to my stamps. <laughs> I think I have the two upside down, the three star section ends up being not in the middle. It is what it is. It adds a little quirky touch. It's hard. Stamps are pretty much permanent once you put them in unless you use a uh, whiteout. But I hate the look of whiteout, so it is what it is. You just got to stick with me here. <laughs> My hands were also covered in ink for this whole week. It was a struggle to say the least, because it was not washing off quickly, but what can you do? This next spread is my genre tracker spread, which I loved having last year. And you'll see that some genres I have bigger sections for and some I have smaller sections for just because I tend to stick to specific genres such as classics and romance. And here I just, every time I finish a book, I color coordinate the star rating to the specific genre. And the genres that I have listed here are classics, fantasy, fiction, manga, memoirs, middle grade, horror or thriller, nonfiction, romance, sci-fi, poetry or short story, and young adults. And then I left one blank just in case there happens to be a genre or a book that doesn't fall under these categories. There are a lot of subgenres, but I had to keep it pretty straightforward. <laughs> This next spread is my best book of 2024 spread, which I loved filling this in for my 2023. I have a whole video dedicated to me filling out that spread and trying to figure out my best book of the year. It was challenging, but it was nice to actually reflect on all of the books and see where my thoughts were by the end of the year. Also, don't you love that huge ink smudge? I'm very disappointed in that, but it is what it is. <laughs> This year, I decided to not just have me write in the titles of the books, but actually input the pictures of each book. So it's going to be a lot of printing, but I think it will visually look better at the end of the year when I fill it in. This next spread is my 24 books in 2024 spread, which I also have a dedicated video going over all of these books that I want to read in 2024. And I kind of color coordinated this page. I did that last year and it was just kind of visually 
very, very nice to look at. And so throughout the year, once I finish these books, I'll add my corresponding rating underneath. And I usually add like a colorful border around the books that I do finish um, to see if I get to them by the end of the year. Hopefully I do. You'll also notice that one of the books I forgot to print the cover for it. So it is blank here, but it will be filled in, I believe, when I do the walkthrough or flip through by the end of this. If not, you'll see it in future videos. But it is my Rainer Maria Rilke's new poems book. <laughs> this next spread is a new spread, an idea that I found this year, which is 12 books by 12 friends. So I don't have 12 books on this page. I asked many of my friends what books they want me to read, but I did not get many recommendations specifically because I am probably the biggest reader out of all of my friends. And so typically I'm getting them to read books and not them recommending books to me, but I do have eight books on this spread so we're almost there um, a couple again I didn't have the covers for because it was just added afterwards but I'm excited to see how this goes and to see if I also like the books that my friends recommend I guess we'll see once I finish all of them which I am planning to do hopefully I'll get to them This next spread is my book bingo spread, which I decided to do spread out with two separate pages in my journal. Last year, I just had the book bingo and colored it in as I read the books throughout the year, but I didn't put anywhere the corresponding books that I read to fill in each bingo piece. So I wanted to actually add what books I read to complete each bingo part. So you'll see on the left hand side, I have all the bingo prompts and then the right hand side are just blank pages that I will fill in the books as I read them. I switched up my book bingo prompts this year, so I'll quickly go over them. Hopefully I can read them fast enough for you, <laughs> but they are sci-fi poetry collection, Polish author, finished a series, debut author, new to me author, high fantasy, book with less than 200 pages, book I've owned for four plus years, thriller, 2023 Goodweeds winner, book talk book, published before I was born, nonfiction, short story collection, finished in a day, a thousand plus pages, read outside, sad book, middle grade, Canadian author, a book from my 23 in 2023, a novella, indigenous author, finished five series. Wow, I need a drink after that. <laughs> Moving on, my next two spreads are from two separate book clubs that I like to follow along during the year. The first one is the Hardcore Literature Book Club 2024 reading syllabus. I am so pumped for this year. A lot of big books, but a lot of them were actually on my personal list of books that I wanted to read in 2024, so Ben McAvoy got it right. And then in a few moments, you will see the Game of Tomes reading schedule. This year, they're doing six big books. And I'm also very excited for those books. That schedule came out while I was recording these spreads. So I didn't get to go and print out all of the books. But they have some books included this year that I already had 
uh, printed pictures for, so that was pretty cool. I'm just looking here. My desk is so messy while I do my reading journal videos and setups and spreads. I don't know how other girlies make it look so nice and clean because this is just the reality whenever I take out all my supplies. <laughs> The next spread I am so excited about because I never had this in my last journal but I wanted to incorporate it and just didn't find the time to actually do it and it is my series tracker spread so it's another goal of mine to complete all of the series or try to complete the series that I'm in the middle of currently so I do have a lot of series that I own but I just added about I think 12 I think have here a series that I have read maybe one book from or am planning on reading books from for this in this year and I have this cute little book stamp and I thought it would be so cute to color in the stamp of the book once I finish that book in the series I don't know I thought it was so cute versus just like a circle or a square to fill in some of the series I have here are the Kingdom of Cards series, Tiny Pretty Things, Letters of Enchantment, which I actually completed as of January 2024, then the Shades of Magic series, the Grishaverse, Six of Crows, Folk of the Air, Bear Town, which I am so devastated to finish this year. The Dark Court Rising series, the Off Campus series, then Red Rising Saga, and lastly, Throne of Glass. <laughs> I needed that dramatic pause for you guys because everyone's been telling me to read this series and I've been putting it off, but I have to at least start it this year. Alright, we're reaching the end. Not yet, but we're very close. The next page I have here is the Physical Books Red Spread. Say that five times without twisting your tongue. So I wanted to keep track of the physical books that I read um, for my goal this year, but this is specific to any books that I read physically in this next year that I have owned prior to 2024 and not that I bought it this year and I'm reading it this year because it doesn't count. So here I'm just inputting the title of the book, the author, the dates I read the book, the genre the book was in, and if I kept or unhauled the book after I finished it. So we'll see. Hopefully there are, I mean, it's not great to unhaul, but I have so many books. Hopefully there are some that I do end up getting rid of by the end of the year. And I'm hoping to finish the spread and needing even more pages. Moving on to the last two spreads of this setup, we have my 2024 new releases spread. Now, I thought this was a great idea when I was thinking about all the spreads I wanted to add to my journal this year. And <laughs> when I filled out the dates of the books that I'm looking forward to that are being released this year, I only had two books 
So we'll see how this spread goes. Not sure if I will do this next year, but we'll see. Because a lot of books also aren't announced until a couple months before their release. So maybe within the next few months I'll have a lot more books added to the spread. I'm hoping. But it came out really cute, so I can't be mad about that. But the two books that I did add to the spread were Funny Story by Emily Henry, of course, and Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez, which are both coming out in April. Moving on to the last spread of our setup, I have the DNF Graveyard, which I thought was so funny. But I didn't really keep track of my DNFs last year, and I don't DNF very often, but I thought it would be fun to create a little spread and have the uh, covers of the books inputted into these like tombstones if I DNF them. <laughs> RIP, you know what I mean? I thought it was hilarious. I loved the way the spread turned out. Um, so we'll see if I DNF more this year. So if I do, I will put their little pictures here and it'll be a little funeral for them <laughs> but yeah thank you all for spending what is quite a long time with me setting up this reading journal I thought it came out so fun and cool and it really inspired me to get more crafty with my spreads this year let me know if you have a 2024 reading journal and what spreads you guys have done in your journal. If there's anything that maybe you think I would like to add to my journal, please let me know. And I hope to have many, many more reading journal related videos coming out in the future. I already incorporated some more spreads in my journal after I set it all up for January. And I think it's just coming out perfectly. Thank you again for spending all this time with me today. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And enjoy this cute little walkthrough of my journal. And as always, happy reading. Bye!